In vitro fertilization, or IVF, is a fertility treatment where human eggs are fertilized in a lab and then transferred back into a body for pregnancy. Here's a step-by-step -step explanation of the process. Step one, preparation. Step two, ovarian stimulation. Step three, egg retrieval. Step four, fertilization. Step five, embryo development. Step six, embryo transfer. And step seven, possible pregnancy. In vitro fertilization may be performed if a woman has been having trouble getting pregnant, a condition known as infertility, or it may be done if a woman wants to have a child without a male partner. Before in vitro fertilization, a woman will receive fertility medication that causes more than one egg to grow and mature in the ovaries. A man will provide a semen sample so that the healthiest sperm can be collected for fertilization. If the male partner is completely infertile, also known as sterile, or the woman doesn't have a male partner, a donor may be arranged to provide sperm for this process. Before embarking on IVF treatment, you can anticipate a comprehensive process designed to prepare you for the journey ahead. First, you'll undergo a thorough medical history assessment, where your healthcare provider will gather detailed information about your reproductive health and any relevant personal or family medical issues. Next, a series of fertility tests and analyses for you and your partner will be conducted. These tests are essential to evaluate your reproductive system and identify any underlying factors that could affect your fertility. Additionally, your doctor may prescribe birth control pills or estrogen as part of the treatment protocol. These medications can help regulate your cycle and optimize your body's response for the IVF process. This preparatory phase is crucial as it lays the groundwork for a successful IVF. Ovarian stimulation is a key step in the in vitro fertilization process aimed at encouraging the ovaries to produce multiple eggs rather than the single egg that typically develops during a natural menstrual cycle. It usually begins with the administration of hormonal medications, which stimulate the ovaries to produce multiple follicles, each containing an egg. Throughout the stimulation process, your healthcare team will conduct regular monitoring to ensure that the ovarian response is optimal and allows for adjustments in medication dosages if necessary. During the next step, called follicle aspiration, eggs will be harvested from the ovaries. At the beginning of this procedure, an ultrasound probe will be inserted into the woman's vagina so that her doctor can view her ovaries. Inside the ovaries, the doctor will look for follicles. Each follicle is a fluid-filled sac that contains an egg. Then the doctor will insert a long, thin needle into and through the wall of her vagina and guide it to the ovary. A suction device connected to the needle will collect several eggs from inside their follicles. During the next step of IVF called fertilization, the collected eggs will be taken immediately to a laboratory where they will be fertilized. Fertilization may be performed by insemination, where healthy sperm cells are injected directly into the uterus, or the sperms are allowed to freely swim and fertilize the eggs, or the eggs may be fertilized with sperm injected directly into them during a process called intracytoplasmic sperm injection. The fertilized eggs, also called embryos, will be monitored for three to five days as they begin to grow. At this time, the lab may create a hole in the zona pellucida surrounding some of the embryos. This process called assisted hatching will help these embryos implant in the uterus. Some of the embryos will be used right away for embryo transfer, and the rest will be frozen and stored for future use if necessary. Many clinics will schedule a blood beta HCG test around 10 to 14 days post-transfer to check for pregnancy. If you found this video informative, please take a moment to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Your support helps me create more valuable content and reach a wider audience. Thank you for being a part of our community.